Don't be afraid. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Don't Be Afraid. This time for part three is we have access to a new area and possibly a new floor as well. If these guys are going to get out the way. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah? Just like Lydia. Just like Lydia. Right, let's stick to this floor and let's stick to this, whatever this is. It's an occult note from the second floor. Okay, it reads, According to sources learned in Kabbalah Mysteries, rabbi from the 17th century city of Kelm, or Chelm, managed to successfully follow instructions buried beneath the sacred text of Psalms and raise a clay servant known as the Golem, the Dumb One. While not the brightest of automata, the entity closely followed orders of its creator, as long as they corresponded with the word. Is that how you're explaining the mannequins moving around so quickly? They're all golems. Ooh! I'll grab that, thank you very much. Right. Anything else around here? We got some more statues. Lots of fish. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's deal with this guy, shall we? And let's proceed. Hmm, alright, well, let's see if I can avoid you. And you as well. Alright, just have to sort of thread the needle here. Ah! Can I... Hmm. If I go around here... I don't suppose I can reach up to that bag, can I? I can't. I'm just a little bit too short. I... Can I bring this with me and put it on the other side? No? I think, well, maybe I need another bag then? What's around there anyway? Okay, it's just another wall of flesh. Ah, fair enough. I, I guess I'll come back later. Right. Do not blow my candles out. I don't want to be stumbling around in the dark for the next ten minutes like it was last time. Okay. Uh, so, I guess for now at least, we're kind of done? Although, hang on. Let me just test something. Can I actually grab the bag back? Yes, I can. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I'll have to use it upstairs. That's what I'm thinking. Might as well bring it around with me. Okay. Maybe I can bag the stag up there. What we got in here? Sweet F.A. apparently. Alright. Really sounds like he's through this door. Or maybe it's coming out of the, uh, the camera. I'm not really sure. Right, maybe somewhere up here I'm gonna find a screwdriver, right? I think Andy said he had marked it with, uh, with crayons, or something like that, so I, I should keep an eye out. Oh! Ah, th this... this might be it! Ooh, what we got? Not a screwdriver, but Theodore Act. Okay. The students did not stay the night as we agreed. I think parents suspect something. The police for now are not snooping around about the boy. Uh, probably we'll be able to do everything before they start to suspect you. Right. Okay. Now, I think this was mentioned in the prequel. I, I think it was Theodore that went out and kidnapped the kids. No oh. Oh! Here we go. This is it. The screwdriver. Now I just need to find that vent. Maybe that's somewhere around here as well. Wasn't it behind a mannequin with a blue hand or something? Right, hang on. Okay. It's just a wall. A wall and what? Uh, oh! Got a fucking torture room? Oh, bloody hell, right. They were selling off organs, were they? Amazing. Look at this. Another drawing. Okay, did I see something down here as well? I did. Okay, a note from the second floor. Uh, Dear Mrs. Sipka, your letter has truly moved me. I can assure you that with my professional experience, I'll make your son behave himself again. My special program, which I'll apply during our private lessons, is designed to fix problems with lack of concentration and memory losses. All of that can be achieved with an execution. I mean, can be achieved by teaching the children how to act. If you want to discuss the details, we can continue the conversation on the number below. 091720018. That seems like an oddly specific detail to put in here. I mean, I'm just going to note that down just in case.
Okay, I mean, it might come to nothing, but you never know. I might find a phone, I might be able to dial that number, and I might be able to call for help. Right, so, let's go inside. Is he actually in this room? Hmm. Is that another one? There's lots of walls of flesh around here. What does this do? Okay, that actually opens the door. Fair enough. Ah, hang on. So... Right. If I can go back, grab this bag... There you go. I can now put it on the other one and get through, right? Nice! Alright. Poor motherfuckers. Any notes? No. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that was the wall growling, of course, as it disappeared. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there is something in here. Let's have a look. Uh, information about the sale. Theodore will sell the lungs separately. I need more cash. Bring four teens, age about 13 years old. The stock needs to be refilled. Wonderful. But hang on, look, look, there's another bag. There's another bag for downstairs. I should be able to debag that guy and then... Yeah. Okay, that'll work. Damn. Well, this is probably where they took the organs out. Okay. That looks quite ominous. Is this real or fake or... It's a fake arm to go with my fake leg that I found last time. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's the vent! Alright. Crayons as well. Anything else? <laughs> I wish you would stop singing. Alright, so what's up with this? What is, is that a jack in the box? Mm, yeah, I don't know if I like this idea, to be honest, but... Go on. Oh god, I'm locked into position. Pop goes the weasel. It's <laughs> no fucking weasel. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit. Holy, that escalated fucking quickly. What the hell just happened? How did I end up here? Where am I? Up here. I, right. Before the kidnapping, right. But before a giant worm emerged. David woke up in the late evening right? and decided to visit his friend, Tom. Oh, okay, so he, he doesn't have more candy? No, okay, fair enough. Let's go visit Tom. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Tom lived just around the corner, but David always took a shortcut through the backyard. Oh, did he? Well, this would be the front door. The backyard would be over there, right? So, where's Mom? He always sneaked out through the kitchen window. Oh, there she is, asleep on the sofa. Did you say he sneaked out through the kitchen window? Do you mean the door back here? Or do you actually mean the window? I think you actually mean the window. <laughs> but the stool he used to get on oh! the rooftop was gone. We're looking for a stool, okay. Is it in the garage? Hmm. David didn't want to ask his mother for permission. Okay. He knew she wouldn't let him go. Well, I was really looking for the stool so I could sneak out of here. I'm just thinking, did I actually miss my chance then? To go through the vent? I bet there was something really good in there. I was following Andy's tapes, or, you know, at least the ones that I found. I, I hope I go back to that area, but I fear I won't. Ah, here we go, there's the stool. Right, well, it's a ladder, apparently. <laughs> it kind of is for me, a little step ladder. Right, so, if that goes there, then I can sneak out. And then what, get kidnapped? Oh, back to reality, back to the present. Here we are, in a library. Oh god, he's still singing. Okay. Right, there we are. I don't know this one. You and me will have some fun. Oh, 
I'm looking Green. forward to it. Green. God. Okay, uh, looks like we've got another occult note here. Um, as per J.E., the flesh may hold some metaphysical value in regard to the eighth astral house, corresponding to the greater and lesser death and the constellation Scorpius. However, even in death, one must preserve the essence of life, hence the importance of the proper preservation of Ark. In this case, the body. What the fuck am I reading here? <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's doing a deep dive into this stuff, isn't he? Something here? Oh, there is! Franklin's Plate Part 3! I missed the first two parts. What we got over there? Missing posters by the looks of it? We'll get to that in a moment. Okay, uh, take the books and other items. My library is open. Burn them. Throw them. Do whatever you want. It's up to you. Right. Let's take a, a quick look around here. I can hear flies, I think, in the next room. That's never a good sign. Wasn't there supposed to be something quite grotesque around here? Like, Lydia wasn't allowed up here? Or was it the next floor? I can't remember, actually. But, um, yeah. I think maybe her mum might be up here. Maybe it's her body that uh, the flies are gathering around. Or possibly many of them. Oh my god, okay. Right, what's this? Okay, uh, we're going on to part four now. Keep going, my friends, towards further parts of the rooms. Wait there, because soon the ballroom will open. Wow, the ballroom. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's back. <laughs> he's fucking back. You haven't got your balloon with you. Sitting on a corpse, though. Look at this. Fucking Silent Hill right there. The film, of course. Um... Oh god. Who are these? Developers? Patreon supporters? <laughs> They're all missing, unfortunately. What's this? Oh god. Oh dear. What just happened? Oh! Oh shit! Huh? The, the mannequin? Oh, well, not, not just a mere mannequin, but like a golem, right? Oh fuck. Ah! Is there a... Uh, I don't know if there's anywhere to hide here. Oh, and since when did that fucking fall over? Oh, cr I'm trapped here. I'm trapped. Oh, shit. Stop looking at me. Fuck. Okay, alright. Okay, where did she come from? Over there? Maybe that's where I need to go. Uh-huh. Alright, yeah, you just, you just slink over that way. It's kind of freaky the way she's twitching around. Wait, okay. So there's another area through there. Loads more mannequins by the looks of it. Hopefully they don't come to life. Right. Ah. Ah, okay, right. I, I, I've got an extra bag, haven't I? Yes! Yes! Okay, fantastic. This way? Okay. You're too small to reach the ladder. Find... Find... Find a, find a chair. Find a chair. Okay, I can find a chair. Probably. Oh god, okay, she's coming back. Okay, uh, is there a chair in here? Maybe the chair's in the next room? Oh shit. <laughs> well, um, I've never felt more under threat in this game. Okay, she's waddling over there. I, I think she's actually got a sort of gimpy leg, for lack of a better term. A chair! I found it! I found I found a new item. It's a chair. Okay, fantastic. Do I just go back? I suppose I I probably should, but now I'm here. I'm curious. 666. Six, six. Okay, alright. Anything around here? No more chairs? No. Nope. Okay, just for a second I thought I saw her. Looks like there's another bag in front of another picture of him. Bit of a narcissist, isn't he? Any more notes? Gasoline. Here. That's locked up. Okay, you're right. I don't want to get my uh, my candle blown out right now. Especially now. It sounds like she's in the room, but I can't actually tell where she is. And that's a little bit worrying. There she is. There she is right there. 
Can I go around here? Oh shit, oh, okay, I think she's coming back, right. Hey! I guess maybe a little bit like Lydia, she can't see very well. She certainly can't see my, you know, lit candle. Okay, she's, she's going back there, I might be able to slip out. Yep, around here, that's it, that's it! Uh-huh, okay, now if I just place this chair down, quietly. Yep. Up we go. Yes! Okay! <laughs> David, oh, we're having so much fun. Right. Oh, you're so obedient and polite. Oh, I think you deserve a treat. Oh, yeah? But before that, I have one more request for you. Go on. Would you kindly enter this box? And end up like Jamie? If you do, I might think about letting you go. David the crybaby? I just, I just enter the box and maybe you'll be home before the supper. Or maybe not. Leave your backpack on the chair, put out the candle. And enter this box. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm, I'm willingly doing this. This this can't be a good idea. It really can't be a good idea. Leave your backpack on the chair. Yeah. Out the candle, Fucking and hell. Enter this box. <laughs> David the crybaby. Why am I the crybaby? God, I wish I could have been something else, like Guitar Boy. Well done, David. I have to get you all ready for the meeting I've planned. <laughs> You've planned a meeting? I would be a very selfish man if I didn't share such a treasure like you. <laughs> okay. Now I'm not going to scream. Well, I wonder if I can maybe sort of get myself out, a little bit like Jamie Don't did. Don't you worry, David. In a little while, it will all be over. I'm not going to scream. That's what he wants. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, well, I don't think Jamie had to go through this. Oh, shit. Is this the end of my story? Have I... F I should have gone through the vent. I really should have gone through the vent, you know? Why didn't I? I... Oh? What's this? Oh, oh. David sneaked out of the house to see his friend. Okay. And he lives down the spookiest road in existence through the dark and dangerous forest. <laughs> he had to take only a few steps through the rock bridge. Oh yeah? As Mr. Franklin or Theodore swindle him away. Suddenly, he heard a voice. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Hello. Stranger turned his head towards David and said, Do you know where house number seven is? No idea. David didn't reply and just stared at the man. He couldn't say anything. Oh, don't be afraid. I'm the friend of your parents. Bullshit. Maybe we can go together, said the man. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't think I'm going to follow you. I'm, I'm just going to keep on going. David wanted to run away, uh, but suddenly someone grabbed him. Oh, shit. <gasps> Fuck's sake. Well, it was inevitable, right? I had to end up in this situation somehow. Oh. Well, I'm still alive. I'm still in the box, though, unfortunately. But I am in control. Do we... Okay. He made the same mistake. Yeah, you can actually just sort of un unclip these, untie these. And I should be able to just like push this away like Jamie did. Right. I love her? Right. Oh! Well, this was obviously planned out. I got my backpack back. Okay. 
What is going on here? I said hello. Come on, don't you want a balloon? It's Theodore now. Is that Theodore? Coming to the carnival. <laughs> <sighs> oh fucking hell! <laughs> That's all we need. An evil clown. Right. Okay. Let's have a look. What we got here? Take care of him. Theodore, take care of my little friend. Give him a bit of entertainment in your style. Let him have some fun. Your hideout is perfect. Even if the little one escapes in some way, I doubt he will go far. He doesn't seem to realize where he lives. Oh boy, okay. Well, I've got a candle again. I guess I'm ready to go. I re <sighs> It's not just me, right? A few other people want to see what's through the vent. I might go back and load an earlier save and just see and then get back to this. So that that's what I'm going to do, alright? So just bear with me a sec. The bag's on the mannequin, I can go through. I'm not going to go that way this time. I guess I'm going to pick up the fake arm again. And I might as well pick up the other... Actually, yeah, I've, I've got another bag, right? Okay, before I go through the vent, since I'm in the area, you know, like when in Rome, I'm going to take this bag, I'm going to see if I can go downstairs and actually complete that puzzle and get through another wall of flesh, because now I'm really curious as to what I might find through there. It might be another special item, it might be nothing, but it... I don't know, it might be really cool. So, right, one's needed here. Okay, now if I go to the right, to the left... Put a bag on you. What do we get? We get mannequins. What is that, an arm? Oh, an arm, a leg. What about these two? Oh, that was the fake blood? The mask? I... well, I... I found all of those. Oh, it's... oh, it's locked. Well, hang on, hang on. Uh... Yeah, there you go, there's your leg. There's your arm. There's the fake blood. And there's the mask. I was wondering what this was about, so... I didn't hear anything click. Is the door unlocked? Shit, it is! I... We're, okay, I... We're just going through Ed this again? woke up in the late evening. Okay. And decided to visit his friend, Tom. Alright, yeah, uh, hmm. Well, this Tom is a fairly short sequence. Court, I should be able to get through this they fairly quickly. Always took a shortcut through the backyard. I'm curious as to where I might emerge. He always sneaked out through the kitchen window. Okay, so... Out the window I go. And I'm back here. I'm not pulling the lever straight away this time. I presume that's locked. Yeah, okay. Right, well, let's get prepared. Oh. Oh, right, of course. I don't have the extra bag because I used it to get to... Right. Okay, well, there's the other one through there, so I suppose that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, so, hello again. <laughs> oh shit, come on. Ooh. Okay, is the chair in the same spot? Yep, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, the mask? Brilliant. Okay, can I just get out of here quick? Oh, I don't know where she is. I don't know if she's on. Okay, she's on the far side. She's fairly easy to get around, it seems. Okay, so the bag's going on your head. The chair's going at the bottom. Yep. And we're up. Okay. So that's just another way through that section? Oh, it's different. If you didn't visit your friend without asking, maybe he'd still be alive. Hmm? Maybe what? you wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be playing the Oh, game. shit. But, you were a naughty boy. That's Tom? <laughs> and this is your punishment. Oh, fucking hell. But I can clearly see that you didn't learn this lesson. Leave <laughs> your backpack on the chair, put out the candle, and enter this box. <laughs> really? If you don't, you'll see your mummy's head next to your friend. Wow. Holy shit. I'm sorry, Tom. 
Bloody hell. Okay, well, uh, it seems it is slightly different. That's kind of cool, actually. You want to see your mum suffer, don't you? No, 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 no. Right. Tom, I'm so sorry. Are you going to play catch or something while you're holding nothing? Okay, then. Oh, God. First, I'll rip off her nails. Jesus Christ. And then pull out all the hair from her pretty head. Should I go on? I thought, if anything, maybe me putting all those special items down in the mannequin's, in the mannequin's hands, I, I'd get it like a... A better route through, but no. <laughs> you children always think you're smarter than adults. <laughs> well, you're not. When your mum tells you, don't talk to strangers, you won't listen. <laughs> when she says, always inform me when you're leaving the house, <laughs> you don't care. And that's why you are here. It's the candy. The candy? You'll oh, yeah, the candy. Right away. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. What have you done to it? I suppose I don't really have a choice. I suppose, again, this is going to take me to Theodore, isn't it? All right. Will do, you bastard. So no gas coming in from the top? Well done, David. <laughs> now close your eyes. And... So, I went back to do something very specific, and I still haven't done that. <laughs> I wonder if this has changed. David sneaked out of the house to see his friend. Okay, well, I don't suppose it would have. But, uh, maybe let's... Let's not run away and let's see what happens this time, because after this, I am going to go back and I am going to open that vent, I promise. So I've got to go down here, haven't I? Suddenly, he heard a voice. Excuse me. There he is again. The stranger turned his head towards David and said, do you know where house number seven is? No, I still don't. David replied that he's not allowed to talk to strangers. That's very smart of you. Huh. Your mother would be so proud. You deserve candy. This is different again. Come on, take it, said the man. Wow. I, I, I wasn't aware that this game had slightly different paths. I mean, there's, we're probably just going to get to the same end and everything, but... Oh, go on. Yeah, I'll be a stupid kid. Let's see what happens. David ate the candy. Mmm. Suddenly, he started to feel really sleepy. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. His eyes closed, and he blacked out. And he woke up in the basement. But, no. He's waking up in the box by Theodore again. So yeah, we took a slightly different path there. I'm actually quite glad that I went back and saw that. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. This time, I'm going to open the vent. Get out of the way. Right. Put the bag on this guy. Unlock the drawer. Grab the screwdriver. This time, I'm actually going to use it. <laughs> I know. It's a big, big surprise to me as well. Grab that. Grab that. Pull the handle, of course. Open this up. Grab the bag. Put the bag on this guy's head. That's right. It's like I've done this before. <laughs> I don't suppose I really need to take this, but just in case, I guess. Just in case. And again, I don't know if I really need to take the bag. But again, just in case, it might actually help me out uh, with, you know, the next section. If I reach that section. I don't know. Okay, so... Okay, no, no, we are we are going through, and it's going to this section again, so... David woke up in the late evening and decided to visit his friend, Tom. <laughs> For the third time. Tom lived just around the corner, 
but David always took a shortcut through the backyard. Oh, he's gonna regret that. Again. Right. He always sneaked out through the kitchen window. Mm-hmm. See ya, Mom. Where are you, David? I don't know, actually. Because I snuck through a vent this time. This is different. This is actually really cool. Have there been other opportunities to go, like, different ways? And I just kind of bypassed them? I'm actually quite impressed. I just wasn't expecting it from this game. Oh, what's this? Theodore, I killed her. I killed the bitch, Theodore. I strangled her with my bare hands, caught at her, and put her inside a mannequin. I left her on the third floor in the library. She shouldn't have tried to stick her nose in someone else's business. Oh well. Well, that'll be his wife, right? Lydia's mother? Yeah, I assume so. Okay, anything else? I noticed that I, um... I neglected to bring my candle with me. So I'm gonna have to find another one. I do see some light around here. Where did we go? <laughs> okay. That's pretty good, actually. That I'm, uh, I'm kind of swindling him. He has no idea what's going on. What have we got here? Oh, this is it! This is part one! Finally, we can see how it starts. The guests have already gathered. They are sitting in the living room, evaluating the interior. Soon the time will come to organize a great ball. The guests are speechless with delight. Okay, anything else? Yes! A red key, in fact. All right. A red key, right. So I'm swindling him. I got an extra key. I found a little bit more to the play. I am wondering if it's going to have some sort of ramification though, right? I mean, I, I deviated a little bit last time and my friend paid for it. So maybe, oh god, maybe Tom's dead again. All right. Where is this? Is that, that's another key, isn't it? Okay, another key, just called key. And there's something down here, too. And this is actually part two. Ah, I think I know where this is. The library? Yes, so I actually originally came oh, through that door. Oh, there you are, sweetheart. Oh, I was getting worried. Sure you were, sure you were. Right, let me just read this. We're waiting, we're waiting. We came to have fun. Our master prepared something. He will brag. Let's fulfill our secret desires because the entire night is before us until the full moon. We don't have many such opportunities. Right. Okay, so I've got I've got another key. Where would I use that? Would it be somewhere around here? There was that door through there that was locked. Or maybe it just unlocks this door? No, that's that's to do with the lever. Right. Okay, yeah, okay. Hello again, for the third and probably last time. Okay, right. Uh-huh. Very lovely. Okay, so I got the chair again. Let's pick up another bag. It's always in the same spot. This door. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, it's this door. Oh, and there's many boxes. Try me, Jimmy, Steve. Michael, Peter, no Andy. Okay. Oh God, is that Peter? Jesus Christ. Okay. Up there. So. Okay, uh, that's ac that's actually locked. I probably shouldn't have tried that door actually, because there's one just back here. Right. Can I close this? Oh. Right. Oh dear. I'll find you, boy. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Oh, a flashlight. Can I pick that up? Oh, no, no. It's not a flashlight. It's a microphone. I'll find you, boy. <laughs> no doubt you will eventually. A note about the child. Go on. A woman. She was walking with her little son. He hugged her every now and then. Held her hand tightly. Did not go away, even for a moment. I wish I had such a son. Devoted and faithful who will never leave me. I want him. I must have him. <sighs> David! Yep, that's my name. Don't wear it out. What we got here? 
It was my first time. I wanted to know how it feels. When I caught my first visitor, I felt like a lion among a flock of sheep. The innocent victim was lying unconscious and unaware of what was ahead. With each cut, I felt incredible satisfaction. I will not forget it for a long time. It's really getting quite dark, isn't it? What is that? We've got a... Like a rainbow-coloured key, a weird key. And one last kiss. When she opened her eyes, I saw fear in them. It was a woman. Her name was Mary. Only after a while did she realise what was happening. Then she started to panic. I calmed her down, stroked her head. After sticking a knife in her neck, she fell asleep immediately. And it was surely pleasant for her. While stabbing with the knife, I gave her one last kiss. A French kiss. I felt her blood in my mouth. Scrumptious. Oh, yes. That's me. And that is me. I'll find you, boy. And that's me with my head turned completely backwards, it looks like. <laughs> oh, no, I suppose... Okay, yeah, just for a second, I thought his head was turned 180 degrees. I guess the exorcist or something, but no, he's actually walking that way. It makes sense. So, yeah, Jamie Martin, Olma, Alex. He's obsessed with me, though. And he's still searching for me. Right, hopefully that strange key, that weird key, will open this door up here. It will. And where does this go? Right. Ah. The attic again. That makes sense. Yeah. You need to find a key to the house. Uh, well, I, I don't think I want to go down there, to be perfectly honest, but okay. No box this time. I guess I caught him unawares. Wonderful. Okay, so what's through here? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, it's a fantastic... Playroom. Right. I, I, this is unbelievable. Uh, through here? Oh, okay. Now it gets a bit more sinister again. Is that the key to the house? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was short and sweet. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay. Well, um... I, I guess I can go down the hatch. I would just end up back where she is, though, right? Nothing in the chest? No? I find this so cool that I, I can go and do slightly different things, and it actually does give me different paths through the game. I just wasn't expecting it out of this game. Really. It's put it on another level for me. Right. So I guess we've still got to go down. <laughs> Definitely no box, though. And Mr. Franklin's not hiding around here? Okay. <laughs> Wait. Oh, f Oh, fuck. Where's Dad? Oh, Mum and Dad? Your disobedience brought your parents to our game. Oh, God. Please go backpack on the chair, put out the candle, and enter this box. <laughs> if you don't enter that box, I'll kill your grandma and grandpa. I believe you. Okay? You'll be all alone by yourself till the end of your life. Jesus fucking Christ! It just keeps getting worse. The more I do, and the more I think I'm actually getting my own way, the worse it gets. David the Explorer, though. I think I like that title a little bit more. But fuck, Mum and Dad, I'm so sorry! I didn't appreciate you, David. You managed to get away. But at what cost? You ruined all the fun! Well, at least I did that much. Maybe the game was too boring for you. I'll make sure you won't miss anything from the upcoming game. Oh god, lucky me. Yeah, come on. Don't try me, boy! Yeah, I probably shouldn't, to be honest. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Just like I, I wouldn't scream. I, I'm not going to do it. Sleep already. To sleep? In a little while, it will all be over. God. <laughs> oh, here we go with the gas again. Fair enough. Fair enough. God, I, I'm feeling kind of bad about going through the vent and using the mannequin arms and stuff now. Using the fake blood, the mask. It's just getting people killed. I should just go along with his game. And then at the very least, you know, it's just me that's gonna die. It's kind of like the lesser of two evils. Right. Okay, so here. Yeah, we're, we're going through this again. For the third and probably last time. David sneaked out of the house to see his friend. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Carving a path through there again. He had to take only a few steps through the rock bridge. Okay. So what's it gonna be? Is he gonna offer me candy? Is he going to try and escort me? What? Suddenly, he heard a voice. Excuse me. You are not excused. The stranger turned his head towards David and said, Do you know where house number seven is? David asked the man to let him through. Hmm. Oh, what's the matter? There you go. I just asked for your help. <laughs> Said the man. Oh dear. He made a step towards the boy. Back the fuck off. David wanted to run away, but suddenly someone grabbed him. <gasps> he felt a sting in his neck. His Jeez. eyes closed and he blacked out. Slightly different ways of getting kidnapped. There you go. <laughs> That's what this video has been. Slightly different ways of doing things. Different ways of getting kidnapped. Different ways of getting your friends and family killed. Always the same way of exiting the box, though. Right. Okay, so I think this is actually the one that I'm going to stick with, you know? This is the uh, this is the save I'm sticking with. So yeah, sorry mum, sorry dad, you're dead. And I am wondering if now this is going to be more challenging. Hi. I said hello. Come on, don't you want a balloon? Coming to the carnival. <laughs> I will. I will. Okay. So, take care of him. Is that still the same? Yeah, let him have some fun. Yeah, okay. Right, well actually that took a little bit longer than expected, so I think this is actually where I'm going to end part three. But I hope you've enjoyed the journey, or the several journeys that I've taken to get to this point. Uh, it seems I'm actually now playing through kind of like the worst path, because my mother and father are dead. But, um, I don't know. It felt good to kind of stick it to Mr. Franklin for a while. See you next time in part four as we uh, go through the carnival. See you then. All of that can be achieved with an execution. I mean... No, oh. Oh. <laughs> that was the wall growling, of course. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> No fucking weasel. Whoa! Hence the importance of the proper preservation of Ark. In this case, the body. What the fuck am I reading here? Oh god. Oh dear. What just happened? Oh! Oh shit. Oh, okay. I think she's coming back. Right. Down the spookiest road in existence through the dark and dangerous forest. <laughs> I'm the friend of your parents. Bullshit. Oh fucking hell. That's all we need. He'd still be alive. Maybe what? you wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be playing. Oh shit. Grab the screwdriver. This time I'm actually going to use it. <laughs> I know. It's a big, big surprise to me as well. Put the bag on this guy's head. That's right. It's like I've done this before. No Andy. Okay. Oh god. Is that Peter? Right. Can I close this? Oh. Wonderful. Okay, so what's through here? Uh <laughs> Wait. Oh, f oh, fuck. That's what this video has been. Slightly different ways of doing things. Different ways of getting kidnapped. Different ways of getting your friends and family killed.